Today, I'm going to build a laser microphone for under $20 worth of parts. So what is a laser microphone, and why would you want one? Well, imagine you have two spies, and they're talking to each other, telling secrets, and they're behind a window. You can't hear them because you're on the other side of that window, but you really want to know what those secrets are. Well, one way you could hear is by you press your ear against the window. When they talk, the vibrations from their voice are going to vibrate the air, and the air is going to vibrate that window. So if you put your ear up against it, chances are you'll be able to hear what they're saying. The downside is they're obviously going to know that you're there listening because they can see you. So what you need is a way to detect the vibrations in that window from really far away. Enter the laser microphone. Imagine you're across the street in another building. You shine a laser beam at the window. That beam is going to bounce off the window back towards you. When they speak, it's going to cause the window to vibrate, and that vibration in the window is going to cause your laser beam to vibrate. If you had a tool that could detect those laser beam vibrations, theoretically, you could turn it back into sound and hear everything they're saying, and they would be none the wiser. I bought this little amplifier from my local electronics store. Let's go ahead and open it up. And here's what it looks like. There's a microphone on the front and speaker on the back. The speaker is supposed to go into your ear. This thing lets you hear better. First, let's remove the battery cover and put in some batteries. Looking sharp. Okay, so it works. Let's take the batteries out and then remove this screw. Next, we'll use a flat screwdriver to pry the case apart. Now there's two more screws we have to remove to take the circuit board out. This is where the microphone connects to the board. Let's go ahead and remove the microphone connectors. Now we're going to replace the microphone with this photo cell. That'll make the circuit sense light instead of sound. We're going to put it right here and solder it right onto the same connector as the microphone came off of. So let's go ahead and solder that on. And that's what it should look like when you're done. Next we're going to remove the speaker. We're going to replace the speaker with this 1 8 inch audio jack. This is the ground connection, and these two are for the left and right signal. It doesn't matter which one you use. First let's solder on the ground wire. Then we can solder the signal. That's what it should look like when you're done. Now slide the cover back on and screw it into place. Next solder the two wires onto the circuit board. Once that's done, cover it in hot glue. This will help prevent the wires from straining the circuit board and ripping the traces off. Now we need to cut the case to make room for the wires to come out. Go ahead and cut off the back completely. Now put the screws back in to hold the circuit board in place. Next you can snap the cover back together. and then screw the whole thing together. Put the batteries back in, cover it up. We should be just about good to go. Power still works. After some testing, I realized that the photo cell didn't work properly. I ended up having to replace it with this photo transistor instead. It was advertised as an ambient light sensor. The longer sensor lead is attached to the bottom wire in this shot. Next we're going to take an old CD and cut off a small piece. This will be used as a mirror. I'm going to tape this over the speaker on my cell phone. Now when the speaker plays music, they'll vibrate the mirror, which will in turn vibrate a laser light. Now I'm going to use this small tripod to mount the sensor. I'm going to use this cat toy as my laser. I'll mount it in my pan device here so I can aim it and keep the button pressed. Now I'll place some music on my phone to vibrate that mirror. Here's what the setup looks like. The lasers bounce off the mirror and back into the sensor. You can see that the sensor is lighting up red, and that's actually from the laser beam returning to it. 
The sensor outputs hooked up to my laptop microphone port. I'm recording the audio using a free program called Audacity. Here's what it sounded like. Sounds kind of like an AM radio, but you can clearly hear the music. Next I put the phone all the way across the room on top of the couch. I set up the laser on a stool, and you can see how far away it is in this shot. Let's see how well this one works. I can still hear the audio, it's not quite as clear, but it's definitely still there. Finally, I took my cell phone and taped it to the window. My hope was that the music would vibrate the glass and I could bounce the laser beam off of that vibrating glass and pick up the music. But this is all I ended up with. I wasn't able to hear any music at all. I suspect that with a little more time and a more advanced setup, I could probably get it to work at least somewhat. But unfortunately, I haven't accomplished that goal yet. So with the cat toy, a cheap audio amplifier, and a photo transistor, you can build yourself a laser spy microphone for under 20 bucks. It works okay. I suspect that the window thing would work a little bit better with maybe some filtering and a little more experimentation. I'll have to try and get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my videos.